Welcome to Seeing Dead People, the mystery storytelling podcast with a clairvoyant twist. We end every episode with Darcy answering a question from a listener about her psychic process. Okay, well then I'm going to ask you our listener's question if I could before we wrap up. Sure. With so many ghosts in a location like the Tower of London complex, tell me, are they falling all over one another when they're, you know, coming out and showing themselves? Do they hear one another? They see one another? What goes on? Do they have interaction? I, I would say there is a mingling of ghosts. Ghosts can see each other. Sometimes we can ignore them. Um, so, yes, I do think that they mingle, but it's no different than you and I mingling. <clears throat> Well, I, I guess so, but I mean, I'm, you know, I'm mingling it with my head under my arm. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not going to walk around with my head under my arm either. <laughs> so, would you actually think? Do they they talk to one another? Like, hey, Lady I think Jane, they hey, do. I think those can communicate with each other just as well as they can communicate, say, with someone like me. So, I think there is that possibility. Do you think they actually have relate relationships, as in friendly relationships? They they become friendly. They talk regularly, or not? It's just so weird. I think it's sporadic. All depends on what's going on. And they don't time their you know their showing no. up. To, to sort Normally, of they'll show up very close to when they died. Oh, okay. So yeah. They'll show so, up that way. Okay, so unless some of them died on the same day or around the same time frame, they they wouldn't show. Yeah. But let's say they're, you know, like Anne Boleyn died 13 years before Lady Jane Grey and Lady Jane Grey, or whatever, five years or whatever, 13 years later, Margaret Pole. So they're all still able to, like, interact. And, and the, the idea that there are different <clears throat> centuries or times doesn't matter. No, nope. century and time doesn't matter. And the truth of the matter, because those ladies all went through the same horrific type of death, they would be there for each other. You think? Oh, absolutely. Oh, well, that's a comforting thought. Yeah. That is a comforting thought. And do you think anybody, like, for example, the, the princes, is anybody helping them out? They'd be young, very confused if they did, as you say, die there. I would say yes, any of the ghosts that were there would have helped them out. But then they had each other, and I'm pretty sure they died pretty close to the same time. Do you think they were murdered? I do. You do? And do you have a sense of how they were murdered? Do you think you mentioned I'm, poison before? I'm going with the poison. You're going with the poison. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's sort of a coward's way out of killing someone, isn't it? But it's certainly, yep. uh, you, you don't have to chop their head off. You don't have to strangle them. You don't have to touch them. It doesn't have to be that personal. Yeah. And I'm sure, boys, you could easily slip something into their food and they would just, yeah. What a sad thing. Sleep. Go to sleep. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you, Darcy. That was <laughs> that was a wonderful visit to the Tower of London. I'm just so impressed by your abilities today. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. And I'm going to say I'm even impressed with myself today. <laughs> And I hope you'll consider yourself going to the Tower of London one day and see what uh, you encounter or who you encounter. Oh, absolutely. Just keep your eye out for the big bear, man. I don't want yes. you to get hurt. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks very much. Good night. Okay. Good night. This has been a presentation.